Hello friends, this video on relation and function part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, you should have watched relation and functions part 1 to part 6. The graph of greatest integer function. So what is greatest integer function? Greatest integer function, it takes the greatest value, it is denoted by this box in x. And in this case, domain is r and real range is only the whole number because if you give 1.2 it, it will make you it will make it 2 if you give 1.7 it will also make it 2 so range is only the whole number so the definition is if the number is between minus 1 and 0 it becomes minus 1 if the number is between 0 and 1 it becomes 0 if the number is between 1 and 2, it becomes 1. Sorry, in this 1.2 will become 1 and 1.7 will become 1. So let us take this y and this is x. We will say x is equal to x is equal to let's say 1, output is 1. We will say 1.2, output is 1. Correct? Because this is the bracket in which it lie. We will say 5.2 the output will be 5, we will say 4.2 of moment 3, it will be 4, at 6 in negative values also, we will say minus 1.5, so minus 1.5 is not in this range, so it will become minus 2, we will say minus 0.5, it will become minus 1. Now let's plot this point, we will take 0 also, x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0, so 0, 0 is 1 point here. When you say x is equal to 1, y is equal to 1. When you say x is equal to 1.2, y is equal to 1. x is equal to 5.2, y is equal to 5. x is equal to 4.3, y is equal to 4. x, x is equal to minus 2, minus 1.5, this range, y is equal to minus 2 x is equal to in this range 0 and 1 it is minus 1 so if you see this function for any value from 0 to 1 the answer is 0 similarly for 1 to 2 it is 2 2 to 3 2 3 to 4 3 4 to 5 4 5 to 6 5 6 to 7, 6. Similarly, 0 to minus 1, minus 1. Minus 1 to minus 2, minus 2. Minus 2 to minus 3, minus 3. So this is how the signum function looks like. Also point to be noted that if it is 1, it is not 2. It is 1, it is 1. Note that if it is 1, it is not equal to 0, it is 1. So here we'll put a open interval. Why? Because for 1, this is 1, not 0. Here also we will put an open interval. Similarly, we will have to put an open interval everywhere on the tip. Because at that point of time, it takes the higher value. For example, in this case, for 6, it is not 5. For, for, for you say, 5.999, it is 5. But the moment it is 6, then this value will be not counted. So, in that case, this value will be taken. So, on the tip, we have to create this open intervals. This is mandatory. If you don't do this, the graph is wrong. Without open interval, this graph is wrong. Please make a note of this. Open interval is very important here. Because, for example, when you say 4, when you say 4.9999, this will give you 4. But the moment you say 5, this will give you 5. So here, in this case, 5, you say 4.999, it is this. And we say 5, it is 5. So 4.999 is given by open interval of this. Now let's discuss algebra of functions. So we can do, we can add two real functions. We can subtract two real functions. We can multiply a function by a scalar. We can multiply two real functions. We can divide two real functions where we have to make sure that zx, the 
is not zero because if it's zero fx by zx it becomes infinite let's take addition so when you say fx equal to f fx plus gx let's say fx is equal to 2x plus 3 and gx is equal to x square plus 3x so when you say fx plus gx you add these two functions this becomes 2x plus 3 plus x square plus 3x it becomes x square plus 5x plus 3 so this is one example of addition of two real functions let's take subtraction of the real function fx minus gx similarly we can have fx is equal to x square plus 2x plus 1 and gx is equal to x plus 8 so when you say fx minus gx you actually subtract these two so what you get is x square plus 2x minus x plus 1 minus 2 this is nothing but x square minus x minus 7 so this is fx minus gx similarly when you say that you multiply a scalar with a function so for example you have fx is equal to x square plus 2x plus 3 and you have a is equal to 5 then you say a into fx or 5 into fx is equal to x square plus 2x plus 3 this is equal to 5x square plus 10x plus 15 when we say that we multiply two function then we actually multiply fx is equal to let's say x plus 1 and fy is equal to 2x plus 3 then we say sorry this is gx when you say fx into gx you mean to say x plus 1 into 2x plus 3 and that is equal to 2x square plus 3x plus 2x plus 3 and this is equal to 2x square plus 5x plus 3 this is the answer so you can multiply two functions similarly you can divide two functionals for example you have fx is equal to x cube plus 2x square plus 3x and you have gx is equal to x you say fx by gx this is equal to x cube plus 2x square plus 3x divided by x and this is equal to x square plus 2x plus 3 thus we have seen that we can add two function we can subtract two functions we can divide two functions we can multiply two functions or we can multiply a scalar to a function now we have a set given in form of x comma y we have to find linear equation linear equation is always in the form y is equal to mx plus c correct so now we have been given that x is equal to 1 y is equal to 1 if you give x equal to 2 y is equal to 3 if you give x equal to 0 y is equal to minus 1 like that so let's first put x equal to 0 so in this case this will be 0 so we will say minus 1 is equal to m into x0 is equal to 0 plus c so c is equal to minus 1 that is clear now so we have equation of form y is equal to mx minus 1 now let me put x equal to 1 y this the output is 1 so we'll say 1 is equal to m minus 1 so m is equal to 2 that is also clear so our equation is actually in the form of y is equal to 2x minus 1 one so now we have to find the function so the function is nothing but fx is equal to 2x minus 1 this is the answer what we have done we have taken a general equation fx is equal to mx plus c or y is equal to mx plus c because that is the linear equation they are talking about so now we, and they have given different values so we have put the values 
and found the value of m and x, m and c. m comes out to be 2 and c comes out to be minus 1. So we have replaced the value of m and c in this equation. So we got y is equal to 2x minus 1. So f x equal to 2x minus 1 is the answer. Here we have a question where we want to find the domain of function. So we have this is of the form fx by gx. Now in this case gx should not be equal to 0 because if it is equal to 0 this will become infinite. So that means x square minus 5x plus 4 the one in the denominator should not be equal to 0. So it should not be equal to 0. So we say x square minus 4x minus x plus 4 should not be equal to 0 or x minus 4 into x minus 1 should not be equal to 0 or x should not be equal to 4 comma 1. So when we say when we are talking about domain, domain is any uh, real number minus 4 comma 1 set and this is the answer. You got what we have done? So we have seen that this was of the form fx comma by gx and we know that this function to exist gx should not be equal to 0 and that's what we have done. We have told that x square minus 5x plus 4 is the denominator should not be equal to 0. We have solved this and we found that x should not be equal to 4 or 1. So the domain of this function is any real number is r any real number minus 4 comma 1. Let's take one more example where fx is equal to this and gx is equal to this, we have to see whether this function or not. So for 0 to 3, we will say, we will write the value of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. For 0 to 3, it is x square. So it is 0 square, 1 square, 2, 2 square, 3 square. For 3 to 10, it is 3x. 3 into 3 is 9, 9. 3 into 4, 12, 315, 60, 18, 21, 83, 24, 9 into 3, 27, and 3 into 10, 30. So this is the relation. This is x and this is ffx. So we see that for every input, there is only one output. For 3, we have only 9. For 4, we have 12. For 5, we have 15. So it is a function. Now let's see the scenario 2. Again, let, let me write 0, 1, 2. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. For 0 to 2, it is x square, 0 square, 1 square, 2 square, 3 square. Sorry, only 0 to 2, 2 square. Now from 2 to 10, it is 3x. So for 2 also, it is 2 into 3, 6. This is 3 into 2. This is 3 into 3, 9. 4 into 3, 12. 15, 5 into 3. 16 to 3, 18, 7 to 3, 21, 8 to 3, 24, 9 into 3, 27, and 3 into 10, 30. So we see for a given input 2, there are two output, 4 and 6. So this is not a function, but this is a function. So what we have done, we found all the values of x and y, and we found that in first case, for every input, there is only one output. But for second case, gx, we found that for input 2, there are two outputs. So GX is not a function. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study material, study from the best tutor and mentors, and my